Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we'll be seeing how we can solve classic economic dispatch problems using MATLAB. So the cost function in this case is going to be a nonlinear function and we'll be solving it using the MATLAB function called fmincon. So the general equation is C of I PGI is equal to C naught of I plus AI PGI plus half BI PGI square where ai is a constant and half bi is, is also a constant and the objective as always is to minimize the cost function now we have um, two power plants unit p1 and p2 the cost function that's the constant cost function so in the previous slide you see c not of i it's nothing but a constant cost function so that is 125 for the first one and 175 dollars per hour for the second um, power plant and then a which is also a constant is 18 dollars per megawatt hour and 22 dollars per megawatt hour for the second function second power plant and then b is also a cost function is also a constant which is in dollars per megawatt hour square for every r which is 0 0.06 and 0 0.10 and the minimum generation for both the plants at any given point of time is 0 watts, 0 megawatts, and then the maximum is 400 and 300 respectively. And then it's given to us that the demand for next hour is um, 300 megawatt hour, that is P1 plus P2 should be equal to 300. Okay, so if we put in the values for A, B, and C0 in the cost function we get 125 plus 18 times pg1 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.06 into pg1 square and c2 is 175 plus 22 pg2 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.1 into pg2 square now the objective is to minimize the cost function so the total cost function will be c1 plus c2 and the objective is to minimize the sum of c1 plus c2 so in MATLAB, this is how our code will look like. You will need to initialize variables, PG min, that's the generate minimum generation, which is zero for both the plants, and PG max, which is 400 for the first plant and then 300 for the second plant. And then you have A is zero and B is zero matrix, zero vector. Um, this is because we have no inequality constraints. And if we do want to see the inequality constraints, do check out our previous video. We see how we can incorporate inequality constraints. And then you have PG naught, and then you also have um, yeah, you have A equivalent, which is one and one, and then B equivalent, which is equal to three hundred. In the objective function, what we can do is we can use at PG at the rate PG, which will help us to tell MATLAB to recognize PG not as a variable where you need to input the constant, but instead you you can not put in the constant so you can keep it as pg1 and you can keep this as pg2 so it recognizes pg as the variable and then pg1 pg2 are the subscripts for the two power plants and then you have the whole objective function so you have 18 for 125 c naught 175 c naught of the second power plant 18 is a1 22 is a2 and then 0 0.06 is b1 and 0 0.1 is b2 and then this is the syntax for f min con where you have the objective function you have PG naught, you have A, you have B, you have A equivalent, B equivalent, PG min, and PG max. PG naught is the starting position for the uh, function, so we just consider it to be 0, 0. So let's move on to the MATLAB code now. Okay, now um, we have a look at the MATLAB code. So, like in the previous few seconds ago, I told PG min will be zero for P1 and P2, for PG max will be 400 for P1 and 300 for P2. A will be zero and B will be zero as well because we have no inequality constraints. And PG zero is zero, that's the starting point for the function. And A equality, that is P1 plus P2, should be pg1 plus pg2 should be equal to 300 that's the demand and then the oh, at pg thing here will treat pg as a variable where we do not have to specify the values 
So we will take it to be a function. So OBJ, the objective function, is a function of PG, which is 125 plus 18 into PG1 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.06 PG1 to the power of 2 plus 175, which is the constant uh, cost for P for the second fact uh, power plant into plus 22 into PG2 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.1 into PG2 to the power of 2. And now you have the fmin con, the objective function. So let me just run the code again and show it to you. Um, so x will give you um, the values of how much each power plant is producing. So PG1 produces for 212.5 and PG2 is 87.5. So if you actually sum of x, you get 300. That's the equality constraint. And then if you do lambda, which will tell you the so minus of lambda will give you the objective will give you the cost that's being sold at okay so lambda it will be minus of 30.75 so 30.75 dollars per megawatt is the cost total cost that that's the marginal cost of the power plants so yeah that's it for this video i hope this video was helpful um we'll see you in the next video Thank you.